It is August the 26th today. It's a Monday. And today is the first day of university classes. Yay. I am honestly a little nervous because, especially because of the grading system, it's like more, it's more stricter than like what I took at my com community college that I was previously. Um, so I, I graduated with my associates in May, and so now I'm getting my bachelor's, I'm trying to get my bachelor's in Asian studies. I originally wanted to do major in Japanese, but you have to be in person to do that, and I cannot do that because I am nearly, I, I do not have the money for that, and also it's all the way in Miami, which is a four hour drive from here. So unfortunately, I cannot like major in Japanese, like sub-major in Japanese within the Asian Studies Bachelors. So, I mean, like the closest thing to that is I can take Japanese 1 and 2. Um, I'll see if I can like talk to an advisor, if I can like advance in that language, if possible, if, if it can count towards my bachelor's degree, but I mean, probably not. So that's unfortunate, but anyway, um, first day classes, let's go. <laughs> Tika, what are you doing on my toilet? What are you doing on my toilet now? <laughs> I've also wanted to try out, I, I bought, well my mom bought technically, my mom got, uh, bought me um, these acne sticker patches that I've been wanting to try out for like a while. It has sacrylic acid, which is a good ingredient if you want to try and control your acne a bit better. Um, but yeah, uh, found those at Aldi last week, which was a surprise. They had like, I don't know, their theme last week was like, mostly like a self-care theme. And I've been wanting like, um, those patches for your face that look like stickers for a while because I have terrible acne, especially on my back for some reason, even though I always clean my sheets regularly and change my pillowcases out regularly. Or maybe it's because uh, my, unfortunately, I have menstrual cycles. I was born with that anatomy. It's probably because I, I pick my face all the time and it's hard to control that. I've been trying my best to improve that, but it's, it's just become like a bad morning routine when I wake up. Like I get in my mirror and I look at my face and I'm like, all right, what type of pimples we got to pop today? It's, it's a bad habit. It's really bad. Bro, I'm getting my phone wet. <laughs> Oops. I hope I don't run out of space on my phone. I still have like old clips of me filming in Brighton. I hope it doesn't fill up that space. Having a hard time finding a camera and also the finances for it because I just paid like $2,600 for classes. I will let my face dry. In the meantime, I will polish up my new tattoo I got. It is no face with sakura flowers surrounding him. He is very pretty. And speaking of tattoos, first of all, this year, this year, October 11th, is it on an actual Friday this year. And if you don't know the first Life is Strange gang, you're not, obviously not gonna understand what I'm talking about, but I would love to get a tattoo of Max 
Um, I found like some good reference photos, a couple of good reference photos of like an idea I want. I'm thinking about that for my next tattoo. I would put that on my ankle, on my right foot, like probably like the bottom half of my calf. It's going to be like a tornado with Max's face in front of it with blue butterflies surrounding her face. Or her head, I mean. I think that would be really, really good. I'm pro probably trying to get that around October or like maybe the week of October 11th. But at the same time, I'm like, Maren, you just spent over two grand of glasses and you've got to pay probably another two grand for the next semester. What are you thinking? I'm like, I know, but I want to look pretty when I die. <laughs> I want to look good. And also, speaking of tattoos, unfortunately, the guy who has done like four of my tattoos out of five, he is moving to Georgia. <sighs> right after he decided to move to Winter Haven, he, he's like, all right, let you know I'm moving to Georgia. And I'm like, all right, crap. Uh, but he says he will come back to Florida to do guest spots, so that will probably be like a good opportunity for me. If there's something, like if I have like my next idea and thought sometime in the future. He didn't say when he was moving to Georgia, but it sounded like he was moving soon. Like the way, like in the tone of his voice, it just sounded like he was moving like probably within the next month or less. Come on, stop falling off. You're so pretty. So yeah, this is what I'm using. This was from Aldi. You can't see the title because it's like in a hologram color, but it says Lacura, blemish dots and conceal, blemish dots, conceal and treat. Probably can't, oh, there you go. Kind of see that. So, of course, I got the fun design stickers on there. The other one was just the plain circles. I'm like, nah, I want something fun. It smells nice. It smells like mint. Really? This is what they look like? I was expecting them to be a bit bigger. There we go. <laughs> I look pretty now. So my, wow, it's so dumb. When when we log in to our Canvas, which is where where all our classes are at, it required us to like do like a two-factor authentication, and we have to do that every seven days. It can't just be like one thing, and then you're able to log in, like for I don't know two three months, for example. At my community college, as soon as you signed in, no problems but the two-factor authentication is down for some reason. I can get to my classes on my iPad, but I prefer computer because there's like some things you have to do on a desktop, certain websites, certain files that the professor gives you, you have, you have to do it on a desktop. So I guess we'll have to wait until I can, until the issue is fixed. Okay, I just exited out of the tab and, and uh, entered in a new tab for Canvas, so I should be good to go. We are in, let's go.
Okay. I just reviewed the syllabuses. Everything's pretty good. So classes, I was probably should have clarified this at the beginning of the video. The classes that I am taking for my first semester, they are three classes. One of them does not start until October. That is my intro to East Asia class. And the classes that I'm taking right now, like the full 16 week term are Japanese one, which is like my most anticipated class. And um, Zen and tea ceremony, which is very interesting. My Japanese professor, her, she looks very nice. One thing that stresses me out already, two things. One, there is a final interview, which means I have to do a Zoom meeting with my professor and then we'll, we're gonna like review like everything we've learned throughout the 16 week term. That is very stressful. <laughs> um, I hate interviews. I really hope I do well. The main thing is I just gotta make sure I learn my hiragata, katakana, and kanji. That is what we're gonna learn for this class. I gotta study those every day. Two, my Japanese professor, she wants us to print out papers so that we can like practice the strokes of like how to properly write uh, Japanese characters. I do not have a printer. My family does not have a printer. We used to years and years ago, but we do not have that anymore, right? Obviously. So I have to send these PDFs over to my stepdad because he works at a like professional office where there are printers. So I got to do that. I have to email that to him every week now, which is a pain, pain in thy booty. I really hate that we have to do this, but I understand because she wants us to practice the strokes and the proper direction of like the Japanese characters, but also printer. We do not have that and I hate that we do not have that and I hate that we have to, it seems like I have to do this every week. I have to email my stepdad these PDF files of the worksheets. So that's just, I gotta tell him that tonight. <laughs> And they're they're not due until I think Thursday, so I gotta do I gotta tell him immediately tonight. Everything looks good. I'm kind of anticipating for this. Uh, I gotta do a Zoom meeting tomorrow night. For some reason, there's like a, there's two orientation Zoom meetings for my Japanese one class. One is tomorrow at nine, which is a very odd time for a Zoom meeting, and the other is on Wednesday at three. But the issue is is that I work on Wednesday. I don't work, I don't work until five o'clock and I don't know how long these orientation meetings are. I don't know if they're an hour, two hour, maybe three hour, I don't know. So I'm gonna do the one tomorrow night, which I don't want to do because my stepdad always walks in in here sometimes, but he's been going to bed early than usual, which, which is probably a good thing because I don't, I can't have distractions. So I'm probably gonna do the one tomorrow night. Also, my Zen and tea ceremony class, um, my professor seems very disorganized because the syllabus is just the entire layout. There's nothing, there's no like actual proper information except students must not plagiarize, you know, um, must engage with their peers, etc., etc. That's like the only, like proper information, but like, are there any Zoom meetings we have to do? What's like, what are the modules for this class? Like everything's unorganized in my Zen and, Zen and Tea Ceremony class. I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to post an assignment at least every seven days just to keep my attendance consistent so I don't accidentally get dropped out of class. I don't know what's going on with the professor there. I saw like the welcome to fall class announcement in that in my zen and tea ceremony class. Apparently he has an assistant and sh he or she is in Japan at the moment so that's probably <laughs> it's probably why everything's so unorganized. That's pretty much it for my classes. Also I ordered a brand new chair which my my ass is very thankful for <laughs> um, because I used this hard ass wooden chair I've had since I was probably like four or five. 
overall I am very very excited and also a little nervous about these classes. I'm very happy I am finally able to take classes that I am like actually interested in. Um, I mean there were some classes in my my community college when I was uh, getting my, my uh, associate's degree there. There were some like art appreciation, art history, music appreciation. That was a good class. I like that one. Um, but yeah, like as a kid, I've always loved Asian food. And as I grew up, I like one day I saw my stepdad playing Sleeping Dogs, which I'm also planning to get a tattoo of as well. Sleeping Dogs, the most underrated game of all time. Please play it. If you do play it, get the definitive edition. That way you don't have to pay separately for all the DLCs. If you get the original version, don't get the original version. Get the get the definitive edition. Um, I saw him play that, which is set in Hong Kong. And I just saw like, like the first, I think like, I don't know if it's like the, the second or third mission. You go through the night market and you have to fight bad guys. Like make sure the people of the night market understand that uh, Winston is in charge and not dog eyes. But yeah, the night market, I was just so mesmerized by my stepdad playing that game. And I think that's might've been the main reason why I was interested in um, getting a bachelor's for Asian studies. And also I think learning an Asian language because learning languages is like probably like a strong skill of mine that that I think I I'm able to do like math nah science I'm not really that into that engineering or like any like just nursing um, I was originally majoring in nursing in my when I was getting my associates and like a like maybe like a year later I'm like nah I don't want to do that but anyway yeah I've always loved Asian culture growing up. I was always so fascinated by that. And just like the language looks, like the way the language is written, like looks very, very beautiful. I've thought about either like studying either Chinese or Japanese, but I, I thought like, like, I don't know, something about like Japan culture is like just so breathtaking and absolutely just stunning to look at and like, just study as like a as like a whole. The probably like the only downside of getting a bachelor's in Asian studies is probably because probably because like either a translator or a Japanese to English or English to Japanese teacher probably doesn't pay well. But like the main thing is is like I want to be as comfortable as possible with my future career, whatever that will be something that I'm like actually like will be able to be good at. Unlike nursing, I, I've had like a long talk with my mom about like how she studied nursing while she was raising me as a kid and like how that went, how expensive it is, how competitive it can be and how stressful and how stressful it is because like as you get older because it's a very physical job and she's like almost 60 and she hates it but it pays well. So that's probably maybe the only con I can think of when it comes to like getting a bachelor's in Asian studies. I would like to, my overall goal in life is to be able to move out of the country. I hate this country, all right? <laughs> I have my reasons why I hate this country, um, both politically, environmentally. Now that I'm, I'm an adult, I realize how unhappy and like how unsatisfied I am with my life right now. It's at a very stable point, but this country is an absolute mess right now. <laughs> I originally wanted to move to Japan, but like they're very traditional, they're not, very LGBTQ friendly yet. They are, I heard like a, like a few months back, they were considering about gay marriage, but I don't know, they, it hasn't been like official to them yet. It hasn't been, it hasn't become a law in that country anyway. There's that. And also they're, they're very like touchy about foreigners, I think. I mean, every country is. I feel like it's best if I move to Ireland 
I've always been fascinated by Ireland since I started watching Jacksepticeye. I wanted to learn more about the country, about how things work there, and it is very LGBTQ friendly. Maybe I can get a job there as like a Japanese translator, maybe a teacher, I don't know about that. Maybe work in a museum that has the Japanese language. My mom suggests I become a plumber if I do decide to move to Ireland because they make a lot of money. <laughs> which is weird, but okay, I'll, I'll consider that. I'm thinking Southern Ireland, just something that's not in like the proper UK, I don't know, district or like region, whatever you call it. Um, maybe Dublin. Hopefully my family and I will go on vacation sometime and go to Ireland, especially Dublin. We're thinking about Dublin anyway. But anyway, I'm rambling. That's the main goal of my life is to just get out of the country ASAP. Um, but I probably won't be able to do that until I'm like maybe in my 30s because my stepdad doesn't retire until like 2031 or 2032 because he has a pension and that's like a whole nother thing. Slowly but surely getting there, I don't know what I'm gonna do after I get my bachelor's in Asian studies. My mom suggests that I maybe maybe should find a remote online job. Um, I thought about becoming a professor, but like, I don't know, I'm not that big into teaching. <laughs> I could tutor. I don't know if that's like a proper job. I don't know if I could get paid for that. But yeah, everything's still like a rough draft right now. Everything's still very unsure. Still trying to think it through. One more thing I want to show you guys. It's my books for this class. I don't know if, if any of you are pursuing what I'm pursuing right now, a bachelor's in Asian studies, or maybe you're majoring in Japanese or just Chinese because there, I do have like a Japanese and Chinese book that's required for um, my intro to eight, my intro to East Asia, East Asia class, but that doesn't start till October. So yeah, I will show you guys that right now. All right, I'm gonna do the, the tech, the textbook, the book that, um, or at least the class that requires the least amount of books it is my intro to East Asia class, which again does not start until October. I don't know how that class will go, but I'll probably do another vlog on that. Um, <clears throat> and like update you guys how classes are going, how like, and like my mental thoughts and about that and that whole, that whole shtick. But here is the book that is required for my intro to East Asia class. It is A Brief History of Chinese and Japanese Civilizations, 4th edition. It is by Conrad Shiro Kora. I don't know what that is. Okay, it's by Conrad something, Miranda Brown, David Laurie, and Suzanne Gay. No, literally her last name's Gay, but. <laughs> Here is the book. This is the front. I got all of my books on Amazon, by the way. If you are interested in reading more about um, Asian culture, um, the progression of Asian societies, stuff like that. It says it explores the development of China and Japan through their art, religion, literature, and thought, as well as through their economic, political, and social history. So this is, I'm very excited to learn more about that. It shows some images of like some art and like what it said in the in the description on the back. It talks about calligraphy. There's some maps. These two were in a set. They're for my Japanese one class. It is, it is called Genki, an integrated course in elementary Japanese third edition. So this is like the actual like like textbook for it. Um, it comes with a workbook, which you do have to have like, I think it has like an app you can use. Yeah, this is what it looks like. Um, so yeah, introduces like greetings, the three writing systems. It has like both writing systems on like the back. Katakana, probably can't see that. So I, uh, our professor wants us to study like the first 46 hiragana alphabet. So this is, yeah, this is the hiragana. Oh God, I can't, I can't see that. There you go, that's hiragana. And, and here is the workbook that comes with it. 
there's also like practice of like the writing out the characters properly. That's it for that. And my good lord, my Zen and tea ceremony class. There's three books for that class. <laughs> and our professor is already off to a bad start with the class because we do not know what assignments we are supposed to do. There is like nothing. <laughs> So hopefully he or his assistant will fix that sometime within the next few days. So this is the first book, Zen and Japanese Culture. I don't exactly know what type of content is in it. There's like some images of stuff of like old Japanese art. And like Zen and tea ceremony class, it's like... I don't know. It's like I didn't I don't think I even bothered reading the the course description. Just the title of the class sounded so interesting. But yeah, this is that book. It's by Daisets T Suzuki. It's on the bottom there. Next one is Urasenke Chado textbook, which is an odd title for a textbook. <laughs> the author is Ten Kosha. It's getting dark in here. So I guess it's like, it shows like certain instruments and like, not like actual like music instruments, but like tools. I think that they used for like the tea ceremony, how like stuff was structured, like the architecture of that, I guess, in this book. We saw this in the British Museum. Some of this is reckon, some of this I remember. They like actually showed like a demonstration on the Japan floor. I love that floor. I want to go back to that. They showed like two people like actually like in like a proper like setup of like I don't know what you call it, but like the proper like architecture of the where they did like the tea ceremonies. So they did like a demonstration of that and like how it was made, how like how to like properly. I guess do the actual tea ceremony that I saw like some of that there that was really cool. All right, last book. The Japanese Way of Tea from its origins in China to Sen Rikyu. Rikyu. I don't know how to say, pronounce that. It's by Sen Soshitsu, translated by V. Dixon Morris. Excuse me, Sen Soshitsu. The 15th but yeah that is it so I'm gonna go ahead and get started on studying the 46 characters of hiragana very excited so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that but yeah I think that'll be it for this vlog I don't really have any anything else to talk about anything before further clarify or go on about trying to get bachelors in Asian studies. I will do another vlog on this. I will um, do a vlog once my intro to East Asia class starts, which won't be until like October or something. Hold on. It does not start until October 21st. And then all of three of my classes end on December 7th. So that, I believe that's it. Oh yeah, I also want to, eventually in the future, when I feel like I'm ready, um, I really do want to study abroad Japan. I really, really want to go to Japan. I think that would be a really fun learning experience. I gotta figure out if that's possible for my bachelors. Um, I'd have to talk to an advisor about that, I think, how I can do that. Or a success coach which is like a whole nother thing. But yeah, I really want to do that. But yeah, that's about everything. Again, I apologize for the lack of content recently. Um, I hope you saw the community posts I posted a few weeks ago, last month sometime. I don't plan on making content as much as I used to. Maybe an edit here and there, but that's about all you guys will get. My short film for closure 
is going to be put on hold for a little while because of classes. Um, I need to actually put my heart and soul into these classes because one, obviously finances, and two, if I get a C in any of these classes, I might have to retake them, which is also where the finance issue comes in as well. So I don't, well, I don't know if I can retake classes. I don't know how that po their policy on that works, but um, shut up. But yeah, closure is going to be put on hold for a while. I need to try and finish it though. I don't know because Windows, Windows 10 is shutting down next year. And I've only had this computer for like what, like two or three years in that that's so dumb. I gotta also get a laptop. I also need to do that. I need to talk to my stepdad about that and like transfer all my stuff to that laptop before Windows 10 like is completely gone. It's so dumb that they're shutting it down. I was so mad when I got that notification on my computer like Windows 10 is shutting down October 2025. I'm like That'll be it for this vlog. I hope you understand that why I won't be able to post as much as I used to on my old Yokai Grenade YouTube channel. Hope you understand. Um, but yeah, I think that's about everything. So thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you have a good day or night. Um, if you're starting classes, I hope those go well for you. You're gonna do great, I believe in you. So yeah, thank you Kitty so much for watching this. Oh, I'm meow. Bye.